And we're live. Wow. That, that was, was very a really peaceful. Ser serene music yes. to count us down. Yeah. yeah. Much more relaxed now. I should just do a different one each time. But I think that's the same one I did I think last so, time. yeah. Anywho, welcome to the today's episode of Art of the Roll. Uh, <laughs> today we're actually going to put a plan in motion, because I think last time we just ended up talking about plans. We did planning, <laughs> planning, and more planning. Uh, a lot of planning. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, to get us started off, let's just do some announcements. As always, we get all our music from Tabletop RPG Music, which isn't even playing right now. And now it is. Um, so check them out. Uh, if you have Twitch Prime, remember you get a free subscription anywhere you want. Spend it on us, please. But if you, uh, if you don't spend it on us, spend it on someone else, because otherwise Amazon keeps the money. And then, as always, check out our link tree. It has our Discord link in there. Fun stuff. Uh, come join our Discord. And uh, and uh, the only other thing to bring up is, as always, if you're worried about diabetes, go check out Emmy Roman because uh, the owner actually started the company to help his dad because his uh, uh, his Asian family, they're used to eating ramen, and his dad uh, had diabetes, so he couldn't eat it anymore, and this allowed his dad to continue eating ramen. So it's kind of a nice Aww. story there about uh, Emmy Ramen. Um, next Tuesday, most likely, uh, we will be talking with them, and then we will I'll create a clip out of it, and you can we can get their, their Emmy Ramen backstory from them, and uh, also some possible interesting announcements, possibly pertaining to Canada. So... Um, really? Yeah, yeah, but I, uh, no promises. Woof. They said that uh, there might be an announcement with that, so whatever that means. Very good. Hello, mini egg. I was dancing. <laughs> Don't know what else to. Yeah, yeah. As you were. Yeah, it's it's what he does. We should make a channel point. <laughs> then, I believe that is it. So unless anyone has anything else they want to bring up, this is your chance. Going once, going twice. No, I got nothing. Playing the intro. Boop, 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 boop. That's right. That Gotta watch that. Intro was so Emmy. fire, I lost an ear. <laughs> oh, it just no. popped off. Yeah, just the yeah. intro made you pop off. They, they do that, you know, ears. They just yeah. sort of without spending any channel points. <laughs> That's right. You're like pentakill. No, okay. There's a channel um, point. Make Alpha lose an ear. Right. I don't know if that's gonna be catch on very much. It just means like she can't <laughs> oh, yeah. hear anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I love the thing that your ears are actually your headphones, so you literally legit can't hear something if your ear falls off. Yeah, if you take <laughs> right? my ear off, that's the end. Right. Yeah. Anywho. Enigma will be here shortly. <laughs> Thanks, Art of the Roll. Yep. <laughs> comments on my talk today. Yes, this is, uh, today we Lumberjack. have Lumberjack Fig, right? Yes. Uh, it's a style, in case and, we go uh, into the forest today. We uh, we're not selling fans. it in our merch page, but, you know, maybe one day. But we will. <laughs> uh, Fitz, is got wearing, Fitz is wearing his ring again to look oh. like a human, because Fitz is actually <laughs> in hair and makeup right now for a movie shooting on sound, and he left the set to go back to the hotel room to set up the green screen to be with you guys. As soon as we're done, I'm going to go back. I even still have my lav mic on, literally still wearing yeah. my lav mic. Ooh. I, was, I hope yeah. they're recording everything. <laughs> ha, yeah. Copyright this, guys. <laughs> I... So that is something we should mention. Well, one, uh, JCK will be here in a bit. Uh, she's just running a few minutes late. And two, Fitz will be uh, leaving a little early today. So we will uh, say bye-bye to him um, yes. when that happens. And you might be gone the uh, next couple of... Thursdays too, depending on how your schedule goes. Just next week. Just next, next Thursday. Week. Okay, gone. awesome. The one after that back. Yep. We're happy for day. for. Yep. <laughs> We're happy for. Uh, uh, what's your real name, Mike? 
something. Yeah, the... like <laughs> Michael Mazurkovich. He's an actor in Canada. Yeah, I've heard yeah. he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's actually casting. Yes. I mean, uh, making a film. So uh, yeah. that's great. It's cool. He plays a douchebag. I don't know why. That's so weird. Like, are you talking about your character? <laughs> uh, yes. Or are you talking about Mike? Okay. Um, that's correct. <laughs> The hot yeah, factor so, has arrived. Well. <laughs> the hot factor has arrived. And Ooh. and like every okay. good DM, while you're gone, I'll be sure to kill your character and everything. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. Well, Look, if you that... come back and you have a few arrows in your butt, like, I don't know. Just yeah. Happen. Alpha's just doing target practice on unconscious fits. I mean, it Set wouldn't be presence. the first time you shot me, so, uh, yeah. Well, I always had a good medical role to follow it, so. <laughs> They say you push the arrow through to cut off the end. So if it's like in his chest, just push it all the way through, cut off the end, and then pull it off. Yeah. Wow. And then put a tourniquet. Oh, you already have a tourniquet. The arrow's in there. I'm not the only uh, one who shoots arrows, by the way. Yeah, yeah, uh, just the only one here who has shot them into my body thus far. And shot a were rat up the butt. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yeah, were rats are disgusting, vile creatures, <laughs> and they deserve whatever happens to them. Agreed. The, they are, they are subhuman trash, as far as I'm concerned. And I would eradicate every were rat from Waterdeep if I could. Not a were rat. Um, <laughs> <But> yes. <laughs> what does that one mean? <laughs> that was me just doing it straight on the spot. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Angelo. That needs to be like Greyhide's him. next channel point. No. Right? <laughs> uh, I should have recorded it. Oh, too late. Lost opportunity. Uh, also, you can spin bits somehow to change my voice. I set it up. I don't know how it works. So if someone figures that out, then randomly my voice will change. So that could be fun. All right. Anyways, we better go ahead and jump right in. Yes. So last time on Art of the Roll... The party started out uh, having captured Manifet, that magic chef that belongs to Manchun. Fitz decided to go to the Awning Portal and get Davil's help, and Davil agreed to come with him to Troll Skull. Greyhide, on the other hand, went to the Hall of Justice and got help from Ralph and his new friend that he met there, the paladin dwarf named Thundercock. Thundercock! <laughs> I feel like I should have played a sound effect during that. Oh well. Um, we, should, we should start doing that, yes. Lost, lost opportunity. Uh, let's see. Uh, Time. Yeah, that's close to my god. Um, in the meantime, uh, Greyhide also made some bets with a meat pie lady who was an old lady selling meat pies and, and got uh, whooped, but still bought meat pies from her. A lot of meat pies from her to bring to the tavern. The uh, Anyways, the party didn't really have that great of luck talking to Manifet. He was very resistant to spells and... Uh, and you basically agree to let Davil take him away and, and do his thing on him on his own. Uh, at, at some point, the meat pie lady showed up with all the meat pies. But um, the, I mean, why not? You all decided that uh, you actually got the Doom Raiders to help you, a group, a elite group of Zentarum. So they were going to show up the next morning. So now you have Ralph, Doomcock. No, that's not Doomcock. Doomcock's a YouTuber. Thundercock. Thundercock. Thank you. Thundercock. And uh, Doom Raiders. And, um, and the Doom Raiders, all together in the next morning at some point. And also the meat pie lady turned out to be Jalaxel, which Fitz figured out, chased outside, try, uh, fired a, a, a blast to bring him back, and then said, "Hey, we just we just want to we just need to teleport." And Jalaxel said, "Fuck you," and left. Yep, he got yeah. he got out of there. Um, uh, but you did receive a, a message from one of his mages saying that uh, if you need a teleport, come talk to him. That's right. So well, good old Captain Lord fights a lot. Yep. Uh, actually, it was the drunk one, but <laughs> right. could be, farts a lot could do it. Oh, too. Lurky the Awkward. Captain Lurky the yes, Awkward. Yes, Lurk the Awkward. Yes. Uh, it's because he drinks so much, he's awkward. Yes. That makes no sense. It'll do it. Anywho, everybody woke up the next morning, and you head down to the tavern, and you see this group of of the Doom Raiders all set up right there in your uh, in the tavern, sitting around a table. I don't know if you guys remember. I want to greet the Doom Raiders and say, "I am I am uh, Greyhide the Paladin. It's a pleasure to have you in our fine establishment. Can we get <laughs> you some meat pies?" 
<laughs> did we did we check those meat pies because we, I oh ate we one did yes it was fine oh mm -hmm. right and I remember Alpha shot one out of Angelo's <laughs> hand right perfect mm -hmm. welcome Doom Raiders so we hear that you don't like Manchun guess what ne neither do we uh, do you want to help us kill him <laughs> so as a reminder uh, the Doom Raiders that is a thing. The Doom Raiders exactly. uh, have a uh, Davil Starstrung, who you've seen, you know him, the bard, a uh, a dark dwarf um, with a big maul. You've seen Schemo, the gnome shopkeep, potion shopkeep. Mm. A tall uh, black woman uh, with a big sword, never met her, and uh, it looks like a giant half-orc with an oversized bow on his back. And they're all sitting around the table. Uh, the right. the half orc barely notices you, Grey Hyde. He's kind of, his eyes just kind of look at you through the corner of his eye, and then looks back uh, at this party. Um, hmm. Davil is the only one that seems to really give you a, his full attention, and he says, "Well, Grey Hyde, we have gathered here today to take out Manshun." So, what is the plan? Well, um, uh... Mm, right. Go ahead, take it plan. away, Fitz. Yes, <laughs> well, so, uh, as you know, Manshun has this thing, this membranous thing, this wall, wall, if you will, this sort of force field. So, we are going to have somebody help us teleport through the force field in a couple of days. So today we're just talking strategy, because then we're going to go get some intel from Manshun's last known hiding place, where we will also be finding Alpha's father. But I mutter that to <laughs> Alpha's uh, mother. But that's I mutter yeah. that I don't actually say that to the Doom Raiders, because we're going right. to go get intel, because intel is very important. Uh, Schemo, the gnome, speaks up. Uh, the shopkeep gnome, and he says. Dad, well, you brought us here, and you don't even have a, a plan to get through the force field. We, we just, yeah, we do have a we'll, plan. We'll, in, in three yes. days, we're going to be transported in. Yes, we're working on that plan. Three oh, days. Oh, really? So, I, we're not fighting today, he says. No, today is meat pie day. Meat pie. <laughs> <laughs> T today is uh, team building, you know? We're just going to get to know each other, make, do some trust team exercises. <laughs> Trust yeah. exercise, uh, maybe do a little bit of improv. Do you guys like theater? I have a, I have a theater background. We can, we can oh play Jesus. some theater games and uh, get to know each other and maybe improvise some battle sequences, you know? You suddenly hear a chair uh, like kind of uh, scoot along the ground as the half-orc with the oversized bow stands up abruptly. And he looks at Davil and says, When you need me, come get me. And leaves, walks out of the tavern. Oh, that is a Somebody rugged, like meat rugged pies. Okay, more, more, I'll take his share of the meat pies. <laughs> I think he's probably going to have four. I'll, I'll take him. I like to think uh, Angelo comes by with like a little cart with meat pies. Like, <laughs> and like hands it out. <laughs> to as, the the, as the massive rugged half-orc with, with the stone face begins to leave, oh, no. I reach out and I tap his arm and I say, and when you need me, you know where to find me. Oh God! Wait, Roll the persuasion. Have a channel point. Meat pies. <laughs> meat pies. Come and get the meat uh, pies, please. No, I was just <laughs> so impressed by his rugged <laughs> demeanor. Angelo. This one's real. <laughs> Wake me when you need uh, me, Pastor. Yeah. Did you Did you want to roll it? I did. Oh, Thirteen. You did. How does thirteen do with this, this oh, rugged mountain of a half orc? Um. He kind of looks at you and says, I don't know who the hell you are. Get off me. And heads ah! out. Hard Rejected. to get. All right. No, it's all right. I can play that game too. Rugged mountain of a half orc. Could great cheese on his pectoral muscles. <laughs> he walks away and you see on his back is also this giant falchion. Damn. I'm yeah, going I'm... to take two well, that's meat a little bit pies painful. and put a third Man meat pie button. in the middle and kind of make a meat pie triple decker sandwich, squish them together and take a bite out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes. I'm going. I'm going to. Your uh, head does that. I'm going to sneak behind the bar and uh, drink away my rejection because that was a little <laughs> painful. Wow. Uh oh. What is this? What does no, that even mean? Hey, we just got hosted. Whoa! Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you. That's good. Thank you, Dark Watchers. Thank, thank you, Dark yeah, Watchers. Thank you. is raiding the party. Dark wow. Watchers. Wow. Meat Pie Big Mac. Welcome. Oh, wait, that's something else. Meat nice, Pie Big Mac. That's what Grey Hot just made, is a meat pie. Great a meat pie Big Mac, Mac, basically. Three layers of meat <laughs> pies. And a, and a squirt of tarragon mustard in between each of them just to sort of lubricate things so it's not too dry. <laughs> because meat pies are actually, they can be a little bit dry. That's the one critique Grey Hyde has about thank meat you, pies in general. Hello, Trapadillon. Oh, thank you, Trapadillon, for following. It's because of your Thanks front, for reading uh, Dark oh, Watchers. Yes, Chaos, yeah. we do. Does uh, anyone know who that is, or is it just a kind soul who rated I think us? It's a dark. It's a dark, a dark soul. soul. It's a, a dark, dark soul. What? Dark kind soul. Well, welcome to that. Art of the Roll. We are just uh, negotiating with the Doom Raiders about uh, murdering an evil wizard, and uh, I'm plying them with meat one. pies right now to get them on board on our team. So. And oh, I'm someone also part. named the next NPC, and no one judged me for my hair. Someone paid for it in channel points. Uh, our next um, NPC. Oh, oh my God! Our next NPC is judged. douchebag, middle-aged cyclist. Yes. Who is, that a is name? responsible? That's his name, <laughs> douchebag, middle-aged cyclist. Wait, is I that a name so or personality? <laughs> I mean, I feel like that really resonates with me on a weird subconscious level. Uh, so if it's finishes. You're not his, middle-aged. Yes. Why? Well, I'm, I'm getting, He's getting there. there. Yeah. No, he's not. My hairline is receding. I think that makes it count. I don't know. <laughs> my hairline's receding. Um, I'm not middle-aged. I am middle-aged, but my hair looks fantastic. Look at this. That's true. Oh. Look Your at hair this. does look good. Yes, it's a little greasy so, today, but fits yeah. nonetheless. You haven't taken Angelo? your once a week shower. Angelo, how's my hair? <laughs> Anglerfish. Yes. Oh, oh, no yes, response from it. Oh, my hair is beautiful, sorry. I'm in the kitchen and uh, someone's sticking their hand up my. Okay! Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, you're. Uh, oh, my. Your Who's hair back is there with you, Angela? Beautiful. What is it's happening? It's so much nicer than this Kukula Banza right here. His, his hair looks like total garbage compared to your lustrous hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love him when he makes fun of people. <laughs> a little bit harsh. I do. Yeah. And I even think it's the so dungeon nice. master is a big kukulabanza, if you're asking me. Kukulabanza! Hey, watch our last recap oh. if you want to know what that means, because we went over that. It's oh, true, that's yes. exciting. Yeah. Uh, kukulabanza. So, uh, Fitz uh, finishes his drink, pukes a little bit as he watches Greyhide bite into this horrifying monstrosity, and uh, but <laughs> does it into his shot glass, and then uh, goes back up to the Doom Raiders. So, um... So we'll be seeing you when we come back with more information. Unless any of you have any information about how to kill Manshoon? Any thoughts? Insights? I would try, I think, hitting him with my axe as many times as possible and then using Divine Smite to uh, divinely smite him and uh, maybe choking and punching, kicking. You guys have any other ideas? Those are mine. Yeah, definitely the, kick him, Greyhide. That's brilliant. Yes. The woman with the giant sword says, "Yes, I will hit him with my giant, uh, with my giant sword." I was but... going to say that. Use that sword. Yes. Yeah, you guys are like kindred spirits. That's uh, that's really cute. I, I like. I saw you with that sword, and I said that would be a good sword for hitting a wizard with. I, yeah, I, I think we're on the same page here. That's a great I, great strategy. It would be really great if you guys stopped flirting right in front of my fucking face. Thanks. Ah, very <laughs> busted. Uh, I get a little excited when I see, you know, sharp, long, piercing metal things, you know, so I apologize. I get a little I... excited when I get respected, and I don't see any from you right now, so. Oof. Um, can I wow. get you a delicious meat pie with tarragon <laughs> mustard? Yes, I love one. Oh, I, I, I was talking to the sword lady. Sorry. Would you like one too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, uh, I, I think I may have uh, 
messed up here. This 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 woman is a guest. I just was, you know, being polite. I'm really sorry. <laughs> She's also <laughs> overweight, so. I'm not putting up with this abuse. I am going to leave right now. No, 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 please. Uh, no, but uh, still still help us kill the Red Wizard later, maybe? Yes, there will be lots of gold involved, and you are appropriately weighted will for be... battle, in my opinion. I want to put this sword through the Red Wizard, if that is what you mean by Manchun. <laughs> yes, but... yes. Both of those things. We'll be doing that, and I'll be Did... Our goals are aligned, and our <laughs> mission statements are very similar. I feel like we totally work together. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm there as Alpha. Um, I kind okay. of turned to Davil and I asked, "Did you find anything else out from the chef?" Oh no, before... that man is surprisingly resilient to any type of persuasion. It's actually quite amazing. But we did find this, and he pulls out uh, from his pocket a ring, um, and and kind of shows it to you all. It's just a little silver ring with a, it looks like a ruby on top, and do, and he says, "Do you recognize it?" Uh, no, nothing that you recognize. And then he says. I think it has something to do with uh, their teleportation, perhaps, but I'm not sure. May I, um, may I just, uh, I, I'm gonna, like, put a very concentrated detect magic right on the, <laughs> on the ring, just yep. like, beam it on. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yep, you do that, and it is definitely magic. Uh, let me see if I can, oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, it seems to be, um, I think it's conjuration. Conjuration. Okay, well, something, it conjures something. Should we, should we put it on and see what happens or save that for later? Uh, conjuration, yep. Um, Conjur yep. That, that means teleporting, right? Conjuring, teleporting, that's sort of the same. Let me see how well he, he can understand it. I'm going to um, roll a... Schemo takes it and kind of looks at it and says, nah, I'm not sure. Uh, Davil looks at it and says, I think this might be attuned to a, a, um, a teleportation circle of some sort. Oh, that's exciting. Well, yes. uh, it well, probably works only on a specific teleportation circle, if I had to guess. Well. He kind of looks at Schemo weird, like, nah, you should have known that. Schemo real crap. Yeah, Schemo. What are you doing? <laughs> you like make magic things, idiot. Idiot does know the first thing about um. teleportation. <laughs> he kind of goes, oh yeah, I see it now. So, so should we just put it on and see what happens, or maybe we'll, maybe we shouldn't. Well, that means should... we only have one ring to get through. Well, I, I don't just... think it actually teleports you uh, unless you enter that specific uh, teleportation circle. Oh, oh, so you put it on, fig. and then you walk into that thing, and then it... Right. <laughs> so, but we don't know where the teleportation <laughs> thing is. Damn. That's the problem. Hey. Well, good find, anyway. Thank you. Anyways, everyone. we'll let you know and if we uh, find anything else. Do you need help in the kitchen? <laughs> I'll, uh... Just completely forget about the ring and all this important talk, <laughs> and... I will see you guys uh, later. I am going to go uh, have a little talk with our uh, halfling friend some more. Uh, be and gentle. He, you I... know, he's, he's such, a, <laughs> she's such a little darling. He's and he, nice. he looks at his, uh, his other doom raiders. He says, Istrid, Schemo, uh, Toshlin, let's get out of here. I think you guys are busy as much as me. We will be back in three days' time this time. Well, I thank you, you guys for soon. joining us for the meet my extravaganza, and uh, we look forward to uh, going Have you met time. Angelo? Have you met our chef? It... Have you tried his meat pies? <sighs> those aren't, those That's aren't a headline to danger. Pies. Those, are, but... those are someone else's. Those are actually Wait, Joel Axel's did someone meat do pies. A... Did someone do a uh, another man bun on me that I yeah. missed? 
I it's think a he's just a dick man bun. I think he's just describing what? your current man bun. Dubston, please, please oh, tell I us. Oh, he's just okay. Exp okay, that's fine. Oh. That's valid. I mean, it is like that. And this is how mine, how long mine is, flaccid. But <laughs> there's a, he, there's um, a, yes, yeah. Thank you. But Angelo's yeah, Angelo's is he, much longer. He, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you guys, have, I thought you guys were still in the courtship. Yeah, I, I thought you guys were going for this. I think it's time to measure. He tells me things. Oh, yes. Tells you. We can nice. either put it yeah. side by side or we can measure. Angelo's choice. He was talking about his prosciutto. I think maybe that's what he was talking about. Oh, I, that's I think, awesome. Yes, 10 inch prosciutto. The, oh, I mean, I, Greyhide, have tried it. I. Maybe that's what uh, he was referring to, but it could be something else. I don't know. <laughs> Cleese points out that it is made out of felt. So it's quite. Well, I don't know if the circulation well, it's been would be quite the same. It's, not, it's, it's been, been aged, felt. anyways. It's been felt by Alpha, I'm sure. So. Oh my! I'm getting that. Oh my! Has. You don't think she marries been, first? It's been what? Um, <laughs> Someone was saying it's made of felt, and I and I said that it's probably been felt by Alpha or Fig. I didn't know. It's a joke, just like when I joke about murder. Not really. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. That's great. Oh, sorry, I probably yelled into the Angelo, mic. Angelo, do you need help in the kitchen? Are these people making fun and having giving you a bit of a hard time? Is it a Angelo a has shut out here. Has, has I don't the... even hear them. I has only Fig... hear the sound of your beautiful voice. Angelo, has, has <laughs> no. Fig felt your salami? Has Fig touched what? your Anyone prosciutto? Anyone can feel my salami. It's on the menu. My prosciutto as well. Yes. I am Italian chef. Of course I have salami. Lots of salami. It's you want to feel my salami? It's at the top of the menu. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it I got is. tired of that man, but well, I use my own channel points. Uh, you, well, all right. Uh, you so I guess good friend. You would never talk shit about me behind my back, would you? No, no, I, I definitely wouldn't. No. Okay. Man bun. I'm watching you, Kukulabanza. God damn it. Chaos is not <laughs> watch him. any of it. So, All right. um, you can watch him, but keep an eye out for me. Right. So yeah. Alpha, should we go get your father? Oh, now? one last thing. Uh, Davil says, by the way, those man buns were quite delicious. Who made them? <laughs> oh, oh <just> the <laughs> meat pie lady, not a deranged dark elven pirate. Just no, the meat pie, pie lady. lady was definitely not Jerlax. We cannot or... reveal our, all our secrets. Right. <laughs> that. So are we going no on an adventure today? Because you know this. This could. This could. Once Who we stops? get more meat pies and more talking going. Can I want to go headlong pies? into danger today. My appetite for <laughs> meat pies has subsided, and my appetite for violence is Father? on the rise. Calling my dad. Oh, good. Yes, let's go find headlong into mom finding. Mom finding. <laughs> that could get really wrong. With <laughs> yes. do not. Yeah. Any <laughs> of you. Yeah. Mom finding is a new term, and that is one of my chief activities now. Uh, oh, oh, oh yeah. Mike, no. Yeah, we as, should be uh, called mom finders instead of the the, the tarragon legend. As uh, Puma Man Redux said, yeah, watch out uh, if you if he messaged you, just be careful. Um, he should be good now, but um, luckily I'm really unresponsive, and he messaged me. I didn't get back to him in, for a couple of days until he actually had his account under control. I think so. Oh yes, uh -huh. I I think I got hacked. I think uh, yeah, I was like I got a message from some uh, person as well. Yeah, so thanks thanks for the heads up. But yeah, I figured it out. The yeah, I appreciate that Mike. story. The yeah, guy wasn't that, too savvy about it, so yeah. Also chaos. Yeah. Um, as soon as the channel points make me. <laughs> Father, we're ready. Uh, devil will leave. He will say until three days from now, and he'll leave. Bye, Doom uh, Your father will eventually show up as well, uh, and and say, "Oh, we're we're going. That's that's great. I'm I'm already ready." And he actually already has his uh, bow on and his pack together. Okay. But, um, um, you might need to. Um, I know you're not comfortable, but you might need to shift. 
this is me as Alpha, and it might prove yes. useful. Uh, all to right. Have another form. He, uh, you see him start to mold and shift, and even though he's wearing the same clothes, he he looks like a a guy with a with a goatee, somewhat of a straight nose, and a man bun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's so that weird. Will, that will do. <laughs> Alpha's father, you look oh, excellent in this form. Wow. We'll, we'll work yes. on it. We'll this is how I it. talk in this form. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Chaos, we didn't think I would be here tonight, so all of the Fitz channel points are oh, yeah, sorry about that. off. You act. Uh, but not oh, for long. No. Just for time. <laughs> but if you spend bits. Greg will still do an accent. <laughs> so, like, right. at this time, you won't believe it, but, like, it's, like, totes true, though. At the door, someone shows up that Greyhide was going to oh. meet, but he left, so <laughs> whatever. Oh, so you, he, uh, went to, he went to greet them at the door. <laughs> I think he went to, like, totally feed his cat. I don't know. Oh, that's so weird. Greyhide, there's someone at the door that looks like a paladin. Is that is this for you? <laughs> is that yours? So like what? someone totally paid for Valley Girl and uh you see like Totes uh uh Ralph shows up at the door and he's like Greyhide old pal old buddy hey, Are we heading boy. out today? Hey, I brought this guy, and he, he, he kind of steps out of the way because there's a sh uh, I mean like he totally steps out of the way and there's like this short dwarf behind him and Thundercock, how's it going, brah? I'm, I'm sorry, ready to take there? down some wizards. Okay, I've got a little bit of an update. Uh, things are going great, but we're going to have to sort of circle back because Ray we've got the Doom Raiders also in joining us on this quest, so we're pretty much That's guaranteed German, by the way. victory. So the thing is, we're not going to be able to uh, begin our adventure until another, is it two it's days German. or three days? German channel point. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Ah yes. So uh, we have to come back in like three days, and uh, <laughs> then we're going to we're going to use the teleportation spell to go inside, and then we're going to murder the um, we're going to murder the wizard. But uh, now we can celebrate and have a shine of Hockershire beer <laughs> and some uh, meat pies uh, so from the Metzgerei, is the Gleichard on the, the Untersetzer. So they they have vague. Dry meat pies. Would you like to join us? It went to German. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? I mean, sorry. Yes, but uh, we're, 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 we're here in celebration of our new friendship together. But we don't necessarily have the fighting today. Uh, uh, so, like, Ralph looks at you. Well, that's an interesting uh, action you're doing there. Are we incognito or uh, so? Come back in three days, you said, uh, and do yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. You can come back in three days, or you can join us for a meat pie extravaganza, <laughs> and uh, and we, are, you know, we we can we can uh, we can sing some songs and some polka music, but otherwise, no, we, there there won't be any wizard murdering today. Uh. Well, I want to kill a wizard, but I guess I'll come back the next day. God damn. All right. See you later, uh, Thunderschwanz. <laughs> Isn't it nice. a Thunderschlong? Uh, yeah, Schwanz, we say. It's more Schwanz. friendly to say Schwanz. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Thunderschwanz. Oh, actually, wouldn't it be Blitzenschwanz? <laughs> uh, no, I think that would be Stormcock. It'd, be Don It'd actually be Donderschwanz. Because Blitzen is lightning and Donner is right. thunder. Donner and thunder Blitzen, shots. yeah. Yeah, the, the modern Blitzkrieg would be like, uh, what? Blitzschlang? Just because of foul internet humor? I don't know. Yes, Blitzenschlang. <laughs> yeah, you have to put. E anyway. In the <laughs> My German accent is done, and thankfully nobody's <laughs> going to buy that again. No one's right? going to use their channel points <laughs> to make me sound German for the rest of the episode. Woo! Nine. Uh, <laughs> nine. <laughs> Alrighty. So, no. Rin Sunter is... Uh, nine. I thought it doesn't mean no unless you yell it. <laughs> Great. Uh, Mark hates it when I say that. Um, I do. 
German is a beautiful <laughs> language. It's so so nuanced. It's just, it's and just one of our one of our consonants is <laughs> instead of the ch sound. If you see a ch, it's <laughs> and most people can't make that noise. Ah, <laughs> ah, right, that, you know. beautiful. That, that's oh. hissing. <laughs> Can we take a beautiful word like porcupine, yeah. and instead we say that was close. Uh, close. Germans, Germans are just a bunch of little kitties. That's just... what it is. Right. We have based our language largely on the sound made by cats. <laughs> um, That's a pretty good German accent. Not bad. Right? It is pretty good. Maybe we should do one for Mike, too. I, we can all be German if. Sounds uh, like but, Mark is vaping. No, no, I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> that is how vaping sounds when you like. When you suck it. Yeah. <laughs> when you suck all right. it. Uh, I smoke fine Cuban cigars. I don't. I don't vape. That's that's the one thing I don't do. So. Well, you don't. It's beneath, beneath a paladin of your status. My distinction, yes. Mm, distinction. Yes. So, so uh, Rin does we... say, Rin says, yeah, sorry, I, or no, he's me. Uh, I mean, he looks like me. <laughs> the Rin says, yes, I think we should, we should go. We should uh, head there immediately. Are you all ready? Um, yeah, headlong yeah. into danger and shit, yeah. I, uh, you do have I a headlong, should... by the way. Oh, I thought I did it. I thought I said it already. So if I have Oh, you probably one, did. Headlong into danger is what I would like to do. What if someone does both German and headlong into danger? Well, we won't know until someone does it. Accent, but they would have to pay right. for that. Right. You know, we're Please, trying to run a, a business point. here, you know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> do you know where we're going? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, if we go outside the city to the west, to the art, uh, ardent forest, it's actually just in there. It's well, about uh, a day's yeah. away. Okay. Um, All right. I um, yep. I actually for this I uh, will summon my bird. Okay, your hawk. Yep. Mm. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, Alpha come down with like a lumberjack shirt, ready to go to the forest. Hmm. <laughs> Fitz uses so. disguise self to look like he's also wearing a plaid shirt. But he's not actually. Uh, and then, uh, and then he casts detect magic because I want to see if I want to. S <laughs> oh please, yeah, you're going to be on the list now. You know that. Yeah. Uh, I cast a quick detect magic to see if our interaction with the Doom Raiders has been watched the whole time, and maybe I should have done this earlier, but I didn't think about it. You look around. Uh, roll perception check. Um, roll perception check. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you hey don't guys, see I'm anything gonna... right out, but uh -oh. and that's a percentage. Eleven's not not terrible. Um, it's average. You look around. You look around some columns because the last time you don't see anything. Uh, I tell uh, my bird to uh, alert us if it spots anyone following us. Apparently, you get on the no-fly list if you search for uh, penis in German. So okay, the more I learn. That's because, you know, that's what terrorists do, is they, they yes. say the word penis in other language, languages. Absolutely. Especially domestic uh, ones. That's what I did before I was a terrorist. So that makes that's sense. how I became radicalized. Every purse, every woman I ever meet is constantly looking for German penis. That's just my, that's just my, <laughs> my experience. <laughs> well, oh, guess, man. Okay. That's what Church I assumed. For penis ends here. <laughs> joke people from that you need that on a t-shirt right the question is uh, if you look at mark does he look german i don't know german enough yeah. to be the end of uh, i don't know but i think german. i look german i'd say you look german like german ick i mean i think yeah. if you had lederhosen on it would help i actually had um, lederhosen when i was six years old Oh. That's amazing. There's pictures of a of me wearing later hose. Way to bring back bad memories, Mark. I mean, Matt, Mike. Jesus, whatever your real names are. Who? I was <laughs> effing uh. adorable in those later hose. Whoever you are. By the way, I only know character names at this point. I'm sorry. You, whoever so. you are. <laughs> so, I'm pretty uh, high so do, wearing later hose. Yes. All right. Do we need to do we need to role play the ride to the forest? By the no, way, no. But it, uh, if 
last chance to do anything before you want to head to the forest. But um, okay. no gambling otherwise... today. Today is all about Angelo. danger. Angelo, <laughs> before yeah. we go. Yes, um... you want that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, he's naked. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what is he doing oh, naked I... in the kitchen? I just... Not yet, not yet. Angela, why are you was, cooking like that? I was like a little that? bit indisposed. I wasn't prepared. I'm sorry. I guess you had a question. Um, it just make sure no one comes in while we're gone. Lock the doors and the the, the pub is closed until we get back. Okay. Okay. Yes, I would. Okay. I, I always do that. Yes, I'm always. I always keep this place like a fortress. Unless it's a customer. Customers I always bring in, but you know. Yeah, but maybe maybe right now there's a lot of weirdness going on just say we're we're closed and you can uh take that uh, time to do uh stock up or are you things. saying that angelo gets a day off this is so exciting uh, my first yeah. day off yes, yes. <laughs> yes. i'm going to walk around with no pants so this oh. is how this is this is our management we find out that our chef is butt naked in the kitchen and we uh and we <laughs> offer him a day off that's, that's how that's he we... stirs the risotto. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I don't want. I'm never having his risotto again. I Pixar, don't, it didn't happen. If you taste the risotto, you won't complain about how it's made. You don't need to know how it's made. You just need to know it's absolutely schlongtastic. I mean, fantastic. I, I don't think I want it anymore. I mean, it's got this really <laughs> nice, creamy. But of sauce, all of us, I thought I'm just you would never be the one going who to... would want it the most. I, 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 I like it. I, when I ingest bodily fluids, I want them to be in a certain, in a certain context, not just my risotto. <laughs> my, my risotto room. has lint in it. <laughs> right. Context. See, context. It's all about context. It's right. context. Yes. Right. I understand. Cocktail. It's all about Co context. Co yeah. All right. Okay. I think they we're say ready he's to... a cocktailer of Enough the kitchen. Enough talking about Dick Risotto. Uh, onward into adventure. Yes. Um, uh, I forgot where I was. Oh yes. Yeah, we got so, a sidetracked. Yeah. You will. No, nope, that's fine. You head. You start heading out uh, of the city. It's been a while, by the way, that any of you have headed out of the city. You go through the north ward, going north. You go through the field, uh, the field ward, where you uh, fought Anya, the vampire. Yes, that was the and last then, time. Really. Mm -hmm. And you go through the north gate onto the, the main trades road. I believe that's actually what it's called. And you see the line of merchants and other type of caravans lay, uh, lining up at the gate, wanting to come in, guards talking to each one. And I shut and you, up. But they don't say anything to you. Horrible they don't memories. care about people leaving. If there are any children at play as we're traveling through, like, the North Ward and any of those areas, uh, I will say, I will throw nine copper at them and I say, Here's some money <laughs> from a paladin, you rapscallions! Buy some penny whistles and sugar plums! That's Fred, how that's, I will do that. That's so cute. I, I'm, I'm so touched. When that's I was lovely. a little boy, a paladin did the same thing to me when he was riding through my village, and... I always knew Paladin were excellent folk from that moment. <laughs> you yeah, make so, so I, much I'd like to sense repay, I'd like to pay it forward by throwing these disgusting Alpha, Alpha will just wink at the kids. <laughs> Friendly. That's right, creepily. Yes. Nice. Right, again. No, just I, as a friend. Uh-huh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And I will also say at the children, <laughs> to the children. And you children should know that Angelo is the best chef in all of the land. As wow. I scream at you them. yell it at them. <laughs> yeah, I go back. Also, and here. actually, that that general point was for uh, insight checking the next NPC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what but is it? That you... is well, the anyway, next yeah. NPC will be uh, the cyclist, <laughs> the disgusting middle-aged cyclist douchebag. That's right. Also, Paul, thank uh, you. That's a very that's... nice shout out to my lonely pickle. Wow, that sounds <laughs> that sounds wrong. Okay. That's from something wow. else. That's Alrighty. something else. Cool. So, you head out along the main road, heading to the Ardent Forest. It's the closest forest to, to Waterdeep. As you get further and further from um, 
water deep, you, you notice it definitely becomes more sparse. More farms out in this area. Greyhide actually gets a sense of home from looking yeah, around farms. and see, <laughs> seeing different farmsteads of different sorts from the farm he lost. You head. Do we do we cross the bridge mm-hmm. that Fitz crossed on his way in? Because uh, if so, Fitz will stop the carriage, get out, cry a little bit, <laughs> place one of his buttons you, on a small grave, and then get back you head, and explain nothing about it. You head, uh, uh, you head to the point where the road veers to the right, southward, and that not too far down that way is where that bridge would have been. Okay. And yeah, you definitely get that sense of, actually a sense of this is where my life changed, you know. This is the hmm. biggest impact Fitz has ever had in his life by far. Mm-hmm. It's true, that was my life changing moment. Single tear rolls down my cheek as I look down the road towards the south. You're crying too, Fitz. Yes. Well, let's don't let the <laughs> don't let the ladies see because I'm kind of ashamed. It's all right, Greyhide. You should... just something in my eye, you know, seeing all these farms. I kind of like punch them, guys. It's my mom I'm looking for. Oh right. Oh yes, it... we're on a uh, mom finding. <laughs> we're the mom finders today. Sure, because only Alpha's allowed to lose important people in her life. All right. Oh, well, um, Fitz can always make it about him at every moment, okay. Oh, wait. I'm not, I just, this is a very important place for me. You know, never mind. I'm just going to look out the window. I'm not going to say anything to you the rest of the journey. <laughs> There's no yeah, window. You're walking. We've all <laughs> lost someone. <laughs> we were in a carriage. <laughs> Fitz is like miming, like. I've been doing this the whole time. I'm just going to look out the window. Like Monty Python at the coconuts. Coconuts, yeah. <laughs> That's correct. Um, I can't hear you. The horses' hooves are too loud. <laughs> it's uh, it's getting to evening. Uh, you still have some a few hours of travel if you'd like, but uh, you see at the start of the tree line actually, um, and it really is a tree line in this case because. Farmsteads of different farms in this area have pretty much cut down uh, the forest to make it more of a plains type area up until the tree line. And then the tree line starts where they haven't cut anything yet. So you do see the tree line in the distance. Up along the road. God, a forest. (laughs) Up along the road, you see a group of three that seem uh, to be thinking about setting camp. Um, you see one, they're, they're setting up on the side of the road. The only reason it kind of catches your attention is because they actually look like adventures of sorts. You have oh. one that's wearing full plate mail. Um, bald head with a black mustache, strong gin, chin. And his breastplate seems to have a, uh, or sorry, his shield seems to have what seems to depict a, uh, like maybe a silver dragon on it of some sort. Hmm. Big sword on his back. Oh my. You see another one, another male. A little bit of a point to his ears. Uh, older, wrinkled with age, wavy hair. Uh, seems to be wearing chain mail. Uh, sitting on a log, shield laying next to him. And you see, uh, lastly, a third one, a young gnome woman. Wearing uh, robes and a and a hood that's down, pale white skin, with a staff with this crystal embedded at the top of it. These are obviously not your normal travelers. Hmm. Think we can take them? <laughs> Why do you always want to fight everything, Greyhide? Maybe they're friendly. Maybe so, they're nice. um, insight oh, check I, them. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Maybe go ahead. Yeah, it's insight check. <laughs> that's a perfect idea right now too. Maybe, uh, maybe from their before. their body language and such, uh, coming up, walking past the road where they've gone off to the side at the the face of this forest, you you kind of give a look at them. From their body language, they are distinctly setting up for camp, and uh, a little bit more, you can tell the gnome is the gnome woman's nervous. She's kind of you can tell by her her shaking her leg on the log, um, just kind of looking around nervously. 
uh, the the paladin looks completely cool, like uh, not even bothering to to care, while the cleric seems to be focusing on the essentials, setting up a fire and such. I'm just I'm just going to leave my party because I have no time for them, and I'm going to walk up to them, and I'm going to say mm. greetings. You types look like you can handle yourselves in a fight. So can we. How's how's it going? Where's uh, how's how's things? This... Uh, do you say it to one in particular, or do you? I I say uh... that to everyone, and then just for Gabriel, I the cler the gnomish cleric, and I say, uh, <laughs> you know, once you go dark elf, you never go back. <laughs> the gnomish uh, uh, wizard of some sort, probably. I say um... that sort of quietly. To her. I am going to march up as well, I'm, and I want to be okay. friendly. I'm going to march up to the paladin and, and say, Hello, fellow paladin. My name is Greyhide. What's your name? And his name is... <laughs> oh, God. Unless he has Hold a on. special name, he's, he's I also, cyclist. I, uh, yeah, I had to go look for it. Problem. <laughs> While these two are doing that, I hang back with my dad, and I kind of tell him the vibes I picked up and try to assess what we want to do next. Okay. I also I just rolled Please. to seduce on the gnome. Oh my god! My, you got a natural twenty. I got a natural twenty with the line: "Once you go da dark elf, you never go back." <laughs> just want to say right. that I didn't think that would work. Quite so well. we'll come back to the gnome wizard in a second. Um, <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the paladin says to Greyhide. Um, Welcome to our camp. Would you like to set up for the night? Oh, you asked my name. I am sorry. My name is Douchebag Middle-Aged Cyclist. Uh, oh. That's actually my nickname, Middle-Aged Cyclist. I, of course, started cycling and stuff, but you don't need to know my whole backstory. The point is, people call me uh, DB. Uh, what DB? All right. Well, uh... Last name is uh, Argundar. Ar DB Argundar. Okay. Uh, Very nice well, to meet you, uh, douchebag. That's a great uh, invitation to set up camp. I th I don't see uh, you seem like uh, fellow adventurers headed on a different journey, but I I would warmly accept. I think I speak for the party to warmly accept your offer. I forgot to mention. Now that you got closer, um, you actually noticed the shield that's laying next to the the, the old cleric there depicts what seems to be a, a dragon as well, silvery dragon. And mm. now, that you, now that you're actually up front, close enough to talk, you see the embroidered robe of the wizard has an embroidered, uh, like, white dragon on it. So they all, all seem to have that. And the, yeah. the gnome, uh, fem the woman gnome, actually seems to kind of ease a bit, looking at Fitz almost excitedly and says... Uh, oh, oh, won't you camp with us, please? Uh, I, I, I think, I don't think we can refuse an invitation like that, can't we? Yes, <laughs> I, I think we'll set up right, uh, right next week. We should all protect each other. I, know? uh, I, I kind of, on that interaction, I find it a little weird, and I want to roll another insight check. On which one, the female or the, or the paladin? Yeah, the female one that looked nervous and that all of a sudden... Okay. Alpha yeah, go for slash it. Fig. Uh, that's also talk about Angelo. <laughs> okay. And then... Oh. Uh, um, it actually okay. seems perfectly normal. Actually, real quick, roll an insight again. See if you confirm that failure. <laughs> that fumble. <laughs> Uh-oh. Because I... Me too. Oh, no. Okay. It, no, you don't recognize anything devious or anything like that in it. Seems Father, legit. I'm not. What do you think? Should we? They seem nice. Should we? Your father's still so Greg, right? Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Should we? I don't not. Sure. I mean, they seem nice, but I'm just not sure if we should set up camp with strangers. They could be anyone. I I prefer to be alone usually, but um, if they have a a paladin, if it's really a paladin. They're probably okay. I don't know. You at this point, you might have more interaction with these people than me. Do we recognize that uh, rose that they have? 
the the uh, silvery dragon. Um, yeah. So you can roll a history so throw. Or uh, I'm history actually, or religion. Your choice. Different results. I was just going to ask about it. I just going to look around and say, so uh, you types really like dragons, eh? That's that's pretty neat. We've we've chatted with one once. It was quite uh, engaging. Very charming. Eleven. The order... <laughs> uh, Eleven's actually enough. This isn't too obscure. Um, and the, the cleric will speak up to Fitz anyways and says... Uh, yes, this is the Platinum Dragon. We are all members of the Order of the Platinum Dragon. Do you know a Bahamut? No. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. He's holding on to his, his uh, staff he has to kind of keep himself up. Do we um, roll a... Uh... Sorry, bap Bahamut? With the Bahamut. Uh, you can roll either a religion or a history. You get different if knowledge depending on which one. Bahamut? Then that, Anyone who demon. wants to, yep. That's a deal. Okay, I already rolled a nine. <laughs> on Bahamut. Nine. nine. History. Yeah. Um, history also or religion, nine. your choice. I rolled a religion nine. Same. <laughs> I got a nine too. I got an eleven. Oh, nine. If if that was a religion check, what would it be? Do you have a higher religion? Mine's my uh, religion is the same. It's plus three. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's, weirdly enough, Grey High is the only one who heard of this. <laughs> and well, he went to Paladin school, so... You know that it's a, um, it's actually not a silvery dragon, it's a platinum dragon. And the platinum oh, dragon one. is, yeah. is, uh, Bahamut. And it's, uh, you don't know too much about it, other than <laughs> you can identify it as, oh yeah, that's a, you know it's generally, uh, a, a good one. They don't do evil acts generally. Bahamut. Okay. Hello. Oh, the uh, yes, I vaguely recall. I am of the uh, order of the Gauntlet, but I've mm. I have heard of your order as well, and uh, I know that you are on the side of justice and good, and these are trustworthy, <laughs> decent people. I, I assure the rest of my uh, my uh, adventurers here that uh, we have nothing That's to fear with this. Order of the Bahamut. Hey, check out uh, Embryonic Legend. He's another streamer. Um, we're always watching him, so check him out yeah. if you're interested. Awesome. Hey, okay. hello, hello, Embryo. He does uh, like uh, a war game. I'm actually not too familiar with nice. her. Um, so what are, can I? So I kind of get closer, and I hello. What what are you guys uh, doing out in these woods? Uh the the gnome you seemed, you seemed a stands little... the gnome stands up uh not too high and kind of walks over <laughs> to fitz just to get closer up, to you not too high. and uh <laughs> um and the the cleric will will speak up when you ask that uh well first before what mark said i uh, sorry what Greyhide said now i'm getting that backwards um the paladin will speak to you uh db douchebag will will say to you uh, yes, the or the Bahamut. We are always watchful of evils that Tiamat may bring to this world. Oh, yes. T so, Tiamat, the, uh, that's the nine-headed dragon, or six... He has a lot of heads, that dragon. Close he enough. Also, yeah, he has a <laughs> lot of heads. He's real... Yes, he's really quite uh, evil, so... Tiamat is um, another dragon? Is that what that is? Yes. Ah, uh, yep. Some of you uh, might remember him from the uh, the old uh, Saturday morning cartoon of uh, Dungeons and Dragons from the '80s. Tiamat was featured quite a few times. He's really scary. Wow! Ah. How about that lore? Yeah. Um, that's a that's a natural twenty on your history roll there, Mark and Greyhide. <laughs> no. That's no, a natural I, twenty on uh, Mark's history roll. <laughs> yeah, because I'm old and, <laughs> older than shit. Yeah, so um, that's that was one of the monsters that was uh, on that cartoon, which was awesome. Yeah, I think it's five heads. I think it falls right. Oh, thank, thank you, you Mini GG. Or, thank you, Mini Egg. Assuming that's Mini GG. Yes, it is. Thank you. Yay. Yeah, thank you, Mini Egg. What happened? We got some. Uh, another subscriber. But. Woohoo! Love from Mini the, Egg. Thank you. The cleric speaks up and says, um, Can you remind me what Alpha asked again? I'm sorry. It was well, too many I things queued up. Um, <laughs> I just asked, what, uh, what brings the three of you? 
Oh. Out in these woods. Well, I'm afraid that's uh, Bahamut business. I I can't tell you the the workings and dealings of the Platinum Dragon, but we were called to this forest to deal with a great evil. Oh, a great uh, evil. That's and, are you saying this? Intense. This evil is in the forest right now. Is it nearby? Yeah. Uh, yes. I I can't speak too much about it. Oh well, being well, a paladin, I know we have we have quite a fixed schedule as it is. But being a paladin, wherever there's evil, I wish to vanquish it. I'm, 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 I'm hard pressed to. I'm wondering if there is some way we could assist you in vanquishing this evil. But I, I can't yeah. speak for my party here. But I, uh, is there anything that we could help you with? Roll a persuasion. That's definitely a solid persuasion. Ooh. Right. Always fighting evil, except when you uh, kill someone for your girlfriend to eat when they <laughs> I used rolled to be a, a vampire. I crit, so I and poured I, Oh, some, wow, crit. I mutter uh, that to here. Enigma. There's a little uh, glint in my eye. Whoa, subscriber. Oh, yeah, another you. one. Who is that? Uh, embryonic Sorry, I missed it. Gifted. Oh, wow, embryonic gifted one. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you, you embryonic. So you are the man. As I said before, check him out. Hey. Um... Go, uh, go follow him just to boost his numbers and just lurk and don't actually watch him if if he's not into it. <laughs> it helps them. <laughs> At least lurk, you know, if not actually. No, I mean check him out first, and even if he's not your, even if it's not your thing, go just like follow him and just give. Bleach, that would be Alpha's dog. And every yes, other, thank you. Alpha's dog is whistling. It's, oh, it's sorry. the. The problem is, Amalia told her dog, if if you ever need me, just per, uh, like do this with your lips, and then, then whatever that thing is. But yeah, um, the paladin will actually interrupt the cleric once you uh, once you ask that uh, gray hide, and will just say, uh, blurt out, "Yes, we are dealing with a great evil. This evil comes from the abyss." We are going to find a demon and slay it. Oh my god, you're slaying a demon. That this is sounds awesome. great. Oh, I, I really, really would love to slay a demon right now. And then, you know, then, then we can go look for... Uh, your, can, can we please, please go kill the demon with them? And then we'll, well go you know, <laughs> Alpha, I mean, we, we, we're probably going to have to kill the demon to get you a mother. I mean, I imagine your yes, mother's good probably thinking. on the other oh, side yes, of the I'm, demon. I'm sure the demon right? is preventing us from getting your mom right now anyway, right? That so. sounds very I think likely. I you. <laughs> Alpha's speechless. We, she's... Sorry, I, turn, I turn to my father. Um, like, privately. Okay. What do you think of this? Um... I don't know anything about a demon, and Alpha honestly, I could care less. Thing. Or, Sorry. I couldn't care less. <laughs> we're, we're gonna sit this one out, Dad and I, but... That's an Angelo, guys... too. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Dad, now that we have all this time in the woods, <laughs> you know, and that we're just setting up camp, um, have you had a chance to think about Angelo and... You know, the two of us. <laughs> I anyway, I just thought... I, just, I, thought I get that you like good... Angelo. I'm not sure this is the right time for that, but... Um, Great. I, Great. I think um, maybe we should focus on uh, your mother. You may have heard of her before, but... Um, of course. Mom. Mom. Says mom. Right. Uh, <clears throat> so, so you may guys, have heard of we... her before. Alpha We've been distracted oh, no. for. Two... Is this Angelo? It is. Okay, but just okay. Of course. Yes, Alpha. Of mom, what but, were you... um, Angelo is just back at Troll Skull all alone. She's and such a thinking troll. About him, because I, I don't want it. You know, he's alone, and there's been all these intruders. And is this Angelo again? Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, so if I could just add two more things <laughs> about about Angela, is that he's alone. Uh, he's always there for us when we need him, and um... Fig, I don't care about Angelo right now. 
We're going to see your mother. I want you to stop right. talking about Angelo. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Zip. Okay. Zip. No way. Lethal dissonance. Wow. But he's Talk about me more, please. <laughs> if you can talk uh, about me, I will listen to me. <laughs> Only thing I'll say is that he really, really wants your approval. Okay. So, your father um, shifts into Angelo <laughs> and says, "If this doesn't stop you talking about Ange, or if this doesn't stop you talking about the Angelo, I don't know what to will." Uh, oh, that just got so weird. I Is feel anyone else aroused? <laughs> A little. I Angelo. So, uh, uh, Angelo is shy. Uh, um, I think I, think... <laughs> I think we have an opportunity <laughs> that could further us in this quest. So, uh, and, let me. Um, I'll just talk to the. I'll talk to the paladin. I said, if there is a way uh, we could assist boy, you, what would be the next boy. thing that we would do, <laughs> Mr. Paladin? I'm, I'm also um, gonna. I'm gonna help Greg interject, and I'm gonna say, wait a sec. Um. Rain, Angelo, uh, yeah, Mark, um, uh, Angelo, what, uh... Who are you talking to? <laughs> which, so where, where is your mother supposed to be? And where is, uh, where is this demon? Um, maybe, maybe they're the same direction. Maybe we can just accompany each other on the way and see what happens, you know? Yes, lethal, that's correct. <laughs> okay. I need a second. Um, no, I'm just going to, I have to say something. And to say it, I just need my full concentration right now. So, what I will say is that I will go where my father goes, and we are on a very, very serious mission to find something dear. And this is what I am doing. Okay. Well, very good, Alpha. But uh, yeah, so they so, can we like are they in the same direction? Can we talk about what part of the forest the demon is in? What part of the forest the mother might be in? Uh, and I also just brief the 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 Bethlehem people. I'm like, oh, by the way, we're just this evil red wizard, blah blah blah, mother blah blah. Just, just quickly, Brett, just just telling him everything. Why are good guys? Along? Brief. We don't need also, to brief. They're good them guys. They clearly. We well, don't know. I do. Well, I do because I just we we've known them good. for. I don't they're have a watch. What's a watch? They're fighting they're demons. For... Yes, but look how I, they're they're trustworthy they're they are. They're either really honestly, trustworthy. I just beat the shit out of each other or make out. I don't give a shit. We should go. <laughs> but awkward. Uh, <laughs> what? So, uh, yeah. Right. So, um, so Fit starts talking about the entire backstory of Fig. Does anyone stop him? <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I'll try to stop him and say, "Oh, wait, we okay. don't need to talk. We don't need to talk about any of that. That's just, that's just a, they you know." They clearly don't trust stuff, us but... enough with their business. We're not going to trust them with ours. And I say it that loud and clear to make sure everybody hears. And I kind of punch Fit's in the shoulder. <laughs> Roll an unarmed attack. <laughs> uh, the cleric says, uh, I, Yes, we don't need to know um, <laughs> who you are or 19. where you come from. Oh, you hit. <laughs> you do zero damage because of your negative dex. But, um, oops, I turned off hmm. my camera. But um, I don't, we don't need to know your, who you are or where you come from. <laughs> and we don't want to tell you our business. And he look, gives a a strict look to his pa to the paladin who's with him and I says uh, perhaps you could uh, to stay as early my old bones need a rest you could go on your way a little bit and and rest on if you'd like did you just say you have a boner old man yeah <laughs> not that old uh, well. they uh, no it's uh, you know we only get it up so much at our age Sure. That is remarkably honest of you. That's, I'm, I'm that's gonna noble lean, and uh, admirable. You know. I'm going to lean yeah, down okay. to the gnome and I'm going to say, uh, did she did she hit me? Did she leave a mark? Do you have a mark on me? Just so that I can you know, put my uh, face uh, down nearer. The, the, the gnome, but she takes your, your face and let me take a look. And she, she kind of took uh, moves it left and right and rubs your cheek a little bit and says... Oh, I think you should stay with us. 
Well, uh, I think I might. Uh, I mean, you chaps can go camp somewhere else if you'd like, but I think I'm just going to... You know, I'm getting tired. I think it's time for me to turn in as well, and I'm just going to start unrolling my bedroll casually right beside the gnomes without saying anything about it. <laughs> it's a Chad move, yes. Um, <laughs> well. Yes, we'll go find some... Uh, not move. too far from the fire, but I'll go, you know... Uh, I'll invite Enigma for to a quiet spot where we can, br uh, you know, bring the bedrolls out, uh, but also not too far from the fire, so we have a good, you know, view of every everything. I don't know if you want a view of everything, Greyhide. I just. Uh, well, no, no. I, I can always avert my eyes if I have to, using divine divine illumination or something like that to create a big blinding <laughs> flash so that nobody can see anything if it comes to that please don't <laughs> use divine illumination on this one that seems a bit of an overkill oh. but all right i know an ability you have that would really divert people's attention <laughs> if it's um, healing yeah. hand job i don't know no. <laughs> it's for that either <laughs> oh man uh i meant a certain rat but that's fine oh yes yes uh well, that's, you uh, that is something I only did once. It's not like I had right. It was a one-time dealio, right? A rat at will, like some kind of were rat. Ew! Disgusting, <laughs> disgusting, vile creatures. All should be exterminated. Ugh. So, given so, that, do you all camp with them? Yes. yes. My, Okie dokie. My father and I don't and I, even secure we, my gold or anything. I'm just completely trusting and oblivious. We're my father and I are a little less we'll stay close, but like we'll <laughs> camp a little bit aside on our own. Okay. You I uh what do okay. I have to roll to give the gnome a very sensual massage? Do I have to roll for that or can we just assume that it happens effectively? You got a natural twenty, you can assume it happens. I don't know um, what you have to roll, but I'm going good. to roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just jealous, Greyhive, so, uh, you know, I don't care. I don't care. The gnome has a great time. She's feeling much less stressed. She feels like right. yes. The gnome can decide that for herself. Thank you very much. The I'm gnome... Just... The, uh, roll a dexterity roll. Just roll the dexterity. <laughs> Uh, or no, roll a medical. <laughs> medical? <laughs> oh my god, why Why medical? For massage. For massage. It takes medical knowledge. It does. Okay, fine. Well, we've got a six. <laughs> so maybe... You do have a reroll from uh, Puma Man Redux if you want to use it. Uh, uh, yes, I will. Because it's okay. very important bits, you know. He really <laughs> likes this gnome. She's... No, I just six. had to it's... scroll through a massive talk about Angelo. Oh my god, you rolled two... <laughs> You also have well, a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a add a d8 if you want, inspiration sure. if you want. Sure, you know what, this, this <laughs> note, she's really cute, she's really stressed, I really want to give her a good fucking back rub, okay, is that so weird? Oh, okay, back <laughs> rub, I thought you were a good fucking, is what I think, whoa, I'm glad you said <laughs> back rub, you know. We've got a total um, of a seven, so the massage is great. <laughs> But it's it's okay. I mean, she's had better, but uh, she she says she kind of says, "Oh, that's enough. Don't worry about it." And uh, oh, that's enough. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Shut maybe, down. Maybe we could just sit next to each other. No. You make me feel feel safe. <laughs> and she kind of leans against you. Oh, that's good. Actually, that so is. So we just you know I can cuddle. That's cute. I like it. I, yeah, I'll, I'll roll with that. Very At this good. point, uh, roll a perception. Everyone? No, just you. Just me? Everyone can if they want, but yeah. you specifically. Nah, nah. no one's invested nah. as much. <laughs> uh, we've got a two. Hey. I am not rolling very well right now. Good to know. Um, they're going to do small talk. The gnome, as a <clears throat> as a follower of the of the the platinum dragon Bahamut, she has certain morals, and she won't go past cuddling with you, but she seems very interested. 
the. I like sexual tension. Not attention. corrupt. <laughs> Any one of this order. You just you just hear that voice just slowly. <laughs> can you please bag. cost? You know can you please cast booming voice as you say that into the night? You do have thaumaturgy. Yeah, I absolutely will. <laughs> Do not corrupt a member of the order of Bahamut. Bahamut you hear that booming Bahamut. out. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> well, that's probably part of the reason why I had to stop my massage, frankly. I think that's part of the reason. I do have a new soundbite. Halfway in, you hear, That ain't no woman. It's a man, man. I'm just kidding. You don't hear that. But, oh, um... I was going to say, after <laughs> Felrec, you know, all that. Yeah. me appropriate. <laughs> Right, I mean, um, I but yeah, you. My last girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, partner. She won't go any further. They're going to do small talk unless you try to press them. Otherwise, we will uh, go forward to the next morning. Sure. Alrighty. Alrighty. The morning breaks. They uh, they get together and they start heading out. Um. I wake up feeling very warm, fuzzy, and just cuddled and accepted for who I am. Just so everyone is aware <laughs> of that. She tells you uh, in the morning, by the way, you never asked my name. My name is Nipsey Dafoodle. You should, you should check me out at the Boulder's Gate if you're ever around. Why, Nipsey? Nipsey that's my name is name. Fitz Joffrey Dalalale, and I would most certainly love to do exactly that. Uh, and if you're ever in Waterdeep, we are at Troll Skull Manor, and it is a fine establishment with excellent cooking. Fitz Joffrey, the silk, ma the, the the manufacturer of fine silks. Oh my God! How do you how do you know that? Oh, I I've, I've I've bought something from them. I. That's, you make, well, wow. I am very, very happy to hear that you wear me. I hope you are... She blushes when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I awkwardly try to make it about her having me against her skin, and it's very awkward for both of us. <laughs> but in a sweet way. <laughs> you, uh, um... Yeah. yeah. Don't forget to follow. <laughs> Mini egg. Yeah. I I realized I was trying. I was trying to be cute. I was trying to make. Them <laughs> she um, but uh, she will say her goodbyes and they will head off uh, their own way. You see the the cleric. He kind of turns away from the. He moves forward a bit and turns away from the lot of you, and seems to be doing something in front of him. Looking down. Looking up. Looking down. Looking up. Is he touching? And, him, so? Looks at the <laughs> looks at the forest and and then points a certain direction and they head that direction off the road. I we shall farewell. I shall follow them. Nipsey, what what was her name? What was her name? Nip, nip Nipsey. 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 Farewell, How did Nipsey. You forget such a cute name. It's a very cute name. I I don't know why I was I associated with nipples. In a very fond <laughs> way. Nips. Nipsey. I don't know. Nipley. Nipply, nipsy, nipsy. Yeah. you see, is this, that happened organically. Alpha so, Rain, now that we're no longer helping them fight a demon, because that's totally not what people like us should be doing, I guess... I thought we were doing that. Are well, we they just left then, without us. They just yeah, they didn't. Follow, let's follow them. I wanna, I, then just you follow, follow them. them, and I'll. me and my dad will go find her mom. Well, okay, Close can enough. we just... Rain, the way the direction that they went is that the direction we're going? Or... My father's <laughs> name is Ren. Ren? <clears throat> right, Ren. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think so. Ours is more north. They're going a bit south. Mm. Well, I guess this is where our paths diverge. Mm. I really wanted to fight a demon, you know. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So you well, go your own way. Um, ah, they don't need us, you know. They're very powerful. They've got all kinds of experience. I don't... That, yes. If our paths are meant to cross, we'll see them again. So long, then you, Nipsey and uh, DB. Nipsey and the gang. You see douchebag... I mean, DB just kind of uh, wave his hand backwards at you. 
So long, friend. DB. That was such a douchebag. Douchebag cyclist. <laughs> Goodbye, douchebag. <laughs> Go fuck Wait, yourself. Wait, would clerics be able to locate people? Uh, clerics, they can locate, they can scry, and they can, um, not, other than scrying, not really. Yeah. Usually. That, do you have anything of mom's? Um, oh. he says, uh, nope, it's Greg. Uh, no, I, unfortunately, anything I had would have been lost during captivity. Hmm. Then onwards, I guess. Um, uh, I call right. my eagle to know, my bird to know if, if he's spotted anybody following us. Aha. Uh -huh. Roll a perception for your bird. In the meantime, I'd like uh, Fitz and Greyhide to roll a history check. Enigma can too, actually. Fitz, uh, Fitz, Greyhide, and Enigma. Roll a history check. History, history check. History check. I'm gonna roll this fucking die. Why do I roll? A, why do I roll a natural twenty on my history check after <laughs> rolling a six for a massage twice? This is terrible. Alrighty. I can't Enigma put my thumbs over someone's shoulder blades worth a um, damn, but I know all about yeah, history. Yeah. You've dealt with the city quite a bit. You actually have heard it, it. It took you a bit, but then you're like, "Oh, I know I've heard that name." Uh, Douchebag's last name was Agundar, and that's actually a noble family in Waterdeep, for what it's worth. Huh. That's a noble family in Waterdeep. Oh, Douchebag is from a noble family in Waterdeep. Oh, uh, I know yeah. his family. Oh, look at that. She. They're known like for. Manpower, usually. You can hire them for mercenaries or other type of more menial la uh, labor manpower. Huh. Well, I'm impressed it cleaned up and became a paladin. That's a step up from the Uganda family. <laughs> the pigtails pig are a little disturbing, aren't they? Uh, he's the one who paid for the pigtails. <laughs> but. By his All right. regret. You head out into the forest. You hear the, the different chirping of birds. You see the different trees of, of oak and maple um, and different oh, sorts. Sorry with, the, sorry, with the 15, my bird didn't locate anything. Oh, you wrote it? Or... Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, your, your bird comes back to you and, and just kind of shake its head no. Take oh, that. God. Trees should be in a park surrounded by a delicate little bit of grass and a nice wall. This is disgusting. We're going to get shot on by something. How did I you know so. Greg's view on trees? Yeah. But, uh... Thank you, a fellow urbanite. That's correct. <laughs> I oh. find trees wonderful. I used to climb them as a young boy. I used and to swing climb from them the to... branches. Sure, I climbed I one about two years ago. Roof. Oh, nice. That's good. I'm uh, pretty happy in the forest, finally. <laughs> yeah. All this time in the city. You do start uh, heading as you're going uh, through this forest. Rin takes you off the main road, and um, you start getting a bit of flashbacks. Not really flashbacks, Fig, but kind of like, oh, that tree looks familiar. You ran past that tree before, and you keep getting closer. As you get closer and. Uh, Closer and closer to uh, to where Ren is taking you, you eventually see in the distance a stone building, rudimentary in design. It's just uh, it looks like a stone building with a slightly slanted roof and walls on the side, um, entirely made of stone. Weirdly enough, a door on front made of wood, Ooh. and uh, you definitely remember this. You remember running away from this. You can see this is definitely where you were captured as well. So you know now that the place your father was captured, the place your mother was captured, was the same compound that you were captured. Though you had no idea. Dad, this is the place? Yes, this is 
This is it. This is where I remember. Guys, this I, is the uh, last place I remember before I ended up in Waterdeep. Oh my god. <sighs> Wait, is it, is this your family home or or the the or the wizard's no. lair? What are we what are we looking at? I don't. I don't this know. This is I the wizard's to... lair. Uh, Ren says. Oh my god. Well, I... we need to be cautious before moving forward. Is is? Do you think the wizard? There's a wizard in here. I don't know if he'd still be here. You look uh... at the building, and it seems to be uh, looking at it more long, almost like a shotgun house, more long than it is wide. So you can tell there's probably multi-rooms, unless it's just one big long room inside. I like to do Divine Sense. I'm going to walk a little bit closer, but not like right next to it. But I like to do Divine Sense, you know, uh, to see if there's any sort of evil presence nearby. I, I'm going Around... to do Detect Magic as well. Okay. You do Detect Magic within 30 feet, I think it is. You look around. You don't see anything magic, surprisingly. You thought you might, given what this was. Divine no Sense, magic. remind me, uh, before I talk about Divine Sense, Fitz, you hear in your head, uh, Oh, Fitz, my boy, uh, it's time to go. What? And, and suddenly you guys see, right there, appears, Lurk the Awkward, the mage, the wizard uh, captain, of the Heart Seeker, oh. uh, oh. from Jarlaxle's Captain, uh, he's hi. kind of oh. swaying a bit, and he seems to have a flask in his hand, and he says, uh, "Well, a deal's a deal, I'm afraid." And uh, Fitz, boy, he made a deal with me, so you, what? I didn't. You, you did. I what? did. No, I, 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 I. Well, let them. I, what, what deal? I. Oh. I, well, and he's gone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and you no, see, far, um, the lurk, the awkward, just disappear. Uh, finishes incantation, and both of them whoosh, disappear. What? This is a Felric uh, thing again, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> well. Are we taking a little break now? Is that what's happening? Yeah, let's uh, let's take a five minute break. I really gotta use the restroom. All right. And then. Um... Well, we can we can entertain people here. I've got some hilarious anecdotes and stories, and maybe a naughty limerick or two. I heard sure. about a, a a short, a YouTube short. No, is it on YouTube? I don't know. Yeah, it is actually. I'll, let's see if I can. I also find heard it. about someone has a new Patreon account. Ooh, let's do that real quick. If you guys are, we're gonna take a five minute break. But if uh, if you're interested, JCK for um, for her Patreon, she does things outside of D and D. Uh, she actually does photo shoots and she has special stuff. It's not an OnlyFans. Get your minds out of the gutter. It's no, uh, no. she, <laughs> but she does uh, special types of extra photos she publishes and stuff. I think right on your Patreon. Yeah. It's all of my unreleased content, so like unreleased photo shoots, stuff like that. That's cool. Highly recommend. I'm a subscriber. It's uh, it's uh, excellent content and well worth it to support our favorite JCK. Thank you. I'm gonna share the link uh, to. Uh, uh, there's a short to film that JCK. To subscribe. Uh, JCK <laughs> and I were both in, um, called uh, Starry Black. Uh, it's about three minutes long. If anyone wants to take a look at that right now, I'm just sharing the link. It's on YouTube. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, starring myself and, uh, Jessica Maybe Chin can, being here. Can How we long share a screen? Wait, Greg, put it... It's put, four minutes. It, and then you can go pee. All right, you want me to do that? Sure. Yeah, why not? Let's watch it. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm gonna mute, uh, mute you all while I do it, otherwise it might... Unless you want to commentate on it, but keep in no mind commentary. whenever you commentate. Just, just okay. mute it, yeah. All right. All right. Let me just go ahead and, uh... Find uh, Starry Black, right? That's it. Yeah. I, I shared it in. I shared the link go. in uh, in the chat there. Okay. Let me just do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I should be. Oh, I have to pull it in. I almost did it again. 
Here we go. I'm muting you all and I'm going to play and pee like there's no tomorrow. Hi, my name is Starry Black, represented by Alice Wall's agency, auditioning for the role of Emily. Derek, don't go. I just want to say that I love you. And I always have, and I can't live without you. Okay, um... Can you try saying the lines like you really mean it? Sh sure. Derek, don't go. I just wanted to say that I love you and I always have. And I can't live without you. Oh, that was great, great. But can we try adding some desperation to it, right? Just... Okay. Yeah. Derek! No. Just say Derek, but say it Say like you're bursting with tears, right? Derek. No, no. Um. Okay, how's this? Derek, don't go. I just want to say that I love you and I always have. And I just don't know what I'm going to do without you in my life. <laughs> Was that better? That was, uh, interesting. Um, but I, I just don't see Emily as aggressive, right? So let's bring back the desperation and say it like you can't live without Derek, right? Start again. Muted. That was very funny. Very interesting. Whoa. Thank you. Nice job, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I was Is that another you. horror film? <laughs> uh, it's it's a short horror. It, it's sort of short horror. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, creepy. It was well done. Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing that. It's the only time I ever had a mustache yeah. in my life too. And I was, you know, my wife was begging me to shave the mustache because she hates it. <laughs> And I said, yeah. no, there's this role that I want to play in a few weeks, and I want to have the <laughs> douchiest looking mustache possible, and uh, it was totally worth it. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I kept it for this role. So do you guys think? Achieved. Do you guys think I should shave? It'd look like this. It's Lex Luthor. 
<laughs> or Billy Corgan. You got a bit of a Billy Corgan thing going on there. <laughs> what does the moderator think? Oh, I'm sure she hates it. Uh, I think the facial hair works for you. A lot of people look terrible with you. You're you're you got a good uh, beard face going on. Terrible. Yeah, <laughs> uh, what about a beard face like? Uh... Some monster. Oh yeah. Like yeah, you can pull that off. A little bit of you can pull that one off better than the all shaved. Uh... What about? How do you like my beard now? The thing is, with that much facial hair, you're for sure gonna have little nests and little crumbs, and you know. <laughs> Like uh, the guy who used to own Twitter. What's his name? I forgot. Jack Dorsey. What are you doing to your head, uh, Enigma? What's going on? It's what it's is... a head massager. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry, oh, wow. I've been using it for like a couple minutes. So it's doing a much better better job than Fitz was at massaging. I'm sure that I'm sure that massager rolled higher than Fitz. Oh, that that <laughs> chick definitely wasn't into it. <laughs> Greg's Costco card. Yeah, I'd show you, except God, it has my credit card number on it. <laughs> I feel you have shown us. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I mean, my driver's license picture but... is the worst picture of me ever taken. Let's see if I can find it. I actually went to Costco once to return something, and uh, and I showed him my my Costco card, and and he said something I didn't understand. He had a thick accent. It was like da da da, and then I was like, um. Excuse me? And then he said it again, I didn't understand. So finally I walked I was like, okay. And I walked away. And then it occurred to me later that what he said was, next time you come, uh, bring the person who owns the card. <laughs> Cause he didn't think I actually owned the card. <laughs> oh. To be fair, Mark just shared his and that did not look like him at all. Oh, let me see. Put it up again. I was I was thinking about myself. The yes. driver's license. It's it's hard to get it uh oh. I got a triple oh, wow. chin happening there. Look at how many chins. Jesus. More chins than I've ever is had. Is your hair purple? Life. It's like chunk. Well, it's... Yeah, sorry. To... A little chunk. <laughs> a little, chunk. A little oh, chunky yeah. chunk. It's just, yeah, a terrible picture. I can make like my hair purple. five years ago, too. When I was it's how I'd look with purple hair. No? You need horn rim glasses now. And a little bit of sass. Mm, nah. Yeah, Anywho. that was Starry Black. That was a lot of fun. We shot it in one day, and uh, it, yeah, it was a lot of fun to do it. Doing that that uh, that short. So. It was a lot of fun. You you're hilarious. Like every different choice that you made with your yeah. face and your love. And love. I love when you. Sorry, I, I had to I've had you. many acting coaches, and there there's some. They just you never feel you never feel confident they're they're all about you know like dripping you a tiny little bit of praise and then just totally making you feel miserable the rest of it True. so i was kind of trying to use every bit of that that i you know so like but every, yeah, it, was, it was a ton of fun every line is like a different choice like i love that you just ch switched it up like every time and like my favorite part is when you go can we just add a bit of desperation yeah. and then you go <laughs> Like you so make your sprinkle face it on, yeah. <laughs> it's like so like what is this? Like <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to write a longer film with that character and just see what this evil casting director really gets up to and how he, you know, how he messes. This is I think the, it's a really fun idea. This is the opposite of the Italian hand. Yeah, I know, like the spring I was just like <laughs> just take a little desperation and just like Yeah. Anywho, we should <laughs> The bring German it back. sprinkle. The German sprinkle. <laughs> was that you who made that up? That's awesome. I what, thought I thought you were reading a chat, and then I realized there is no chat, and that was actually your thing. The German sprinkle. Oh yeah, I just. It's yeah. a sequel, except Angelo <laughs> instead of Mark. I'm way better an actor than Angelo, but his mustache is definitely a lot more manly. <laughs> anyway, so. oh, I just saw what you're Angelo. talking about. <laughs> I would watch an Angelo movie. So, to bring it back to where we were, I think we shall start it up again. We're going to... We'll do it live! Do it live. Sorry. Anybody know what that's from? That's, mm -hmm. um... That's hard copy circa 1980s with Bill O'Reilly. We'll do it live. Yeah. An outtake, yeah. We'll yeah. do it live! <laughs> Anyways. Classic. Yep. 
Stop mocking my German sprinkle. <laughs> yeah, what that means. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll download that and uh, in interject Angela's face on it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Yep. So, to recap, where the before the break started off, you f you finally made it to. The place that Fig and Ren, her father, were captured at one point. It, uh, a stone building. A compound. But before you could go in, Lurk the Awkward, one of the captains of the, the captain of the Heartseeker, showed up and teleported Fitz away, saying that a deal's a deal. Not sure what's up with that, but Fitz is gone. He went poof, as Paul said. Right. Well... You know, guys, I know you're a little bit concerned that Fitz is gone, but he is, like, the weakest member of this party, let's <laughs> face it. You know, the three of us can take on any challenge that lies before us. Uh, so, you know, I say we go press what? headlong into danger. It's actually really, friend. really sad because he teleported him right into a lava pit and he died. So we actually won't be seeing Fitz anymore, unfortunately. Oh, but... I'm really sad. Oh. There's so yeah. much sorrow in my heart right now. <laughs> All that backstory um, gone. Should we take a moment of silence to for our fallen friend or should we just press on? I mean, Every um, moment we waste, um, it, you exactly. know, it is, is a waste. Less, it is a waste, a waste to consider our, <laughs> to mourn our friend. I agree. Wow. We weren't even that close, really. Wow. So. Um, <laughs> what you should really do yeah. is... Oh, it's too quiet. Never mind. I'm sorry. I did I, Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, Leroy. Uh, so, yeah, I the building, like... you look at it now, the stone building, it is longer than it is wide. So you imagine there's multiple rooms, unless it's a weird shape. And... Uh, you're starting to see the the growth of, of vines and stuff just starting to go up the side of this compound, giving an, giving an indication that it hasn't been maintained in a bit. Yes, I, don't, I don't get the sense that anybody's in here. Man bun. And... It is a man bun. <clears throat> Isn't um... it? I guess he wants it higher. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you get the sense that it hasn't been around for a while. Your your father says, uh, "This is this is the place." I'm. This brings back well, memories I, I don't wish to have. I know, but I don't think he's here anymore. I think. I think he's back in Waterdeep right now. I think we can go. All right. I think, I think, um, I think we better press ahead. I mean, we've got to find your mother. I think this is our opportunity to do it. And uh, there, you know, nothing, nothing's going to stop me as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> okay. I mean, so we, should we start looking for an entrance to this place? There's a door in the front. It's a wooden door. It seems to be slightly uh, ajar. Um, just. Just uh, uh, like an inch, but the it's a wooden door with basic hinges and uh, and a simple iron latch on it. Let me see. Okay, I guess. Well, let's just let's just head straight into the door. I think. I think so. All right. Um, okay. Who's um, going in first? No reason. I'm asking. No. <laughs> you know what? I take my hat of vermin. Okay. And uh, I um, I pull out a rat. <laughs> and, yeah, rats um, are so revolting. Rats are disgusting. Yeah, sorry guys, but we need to do this. I um, I cast speak to animals and I ask it to let me know if it finds anything inside or sees okay. anyone. Roll a um a persuasion check with whatever you pulled out. Um, so my persuasion is 10 on a, on a rat. Uh, okay. Um, you think the rat got the idea and, yeah. and he kind of just, and, uh, heads forward. Gray hide, you get a, a bit of, uh, PTSD, but otherwise the, the rat heads into the, 
through the crack Sorry, in the door into the compound. You wait a while. Does it come back? After a bit, it comes back. And uh, you look down at it as it lifts its snout up at you. It, and I says, pull a piece of food of my, out of mm-hmm. my bag and I give it to him. Oh, yeah, it takes it and starts eating it. Um, what do you, what, what's in there? What did you see? Um, People? No, not in the first room. Uh, how many rooms? Uh, I, I saw two. Maybe a third, I don't know. Okay, any people in any room? Mm, I only went into the first and looked in the second. Okay, creatures, anything? It turns the food on the other side and starts eating from the other side. Um, mm, no, not in the first room. Or second room, I think, I don't know. Okay, traps? What did you say? I said traps. Oh. There's a rat, um, but I don't know. <laughs> What's a trap? Mm, I don't know. I'm still alive. <laughs> okay. Well, the first room is clear. It's kind of what we gather, and there's maybe a second or third room. All right. Then well, let's uh, let's go into that first room and uh, uh, you know figure out uh, where to go from there. Who goes in first? I'll I guess. Go. Oh. Okay. Unless you unless you want to go, Alpha. I mean, I dragged you guys here, so I'll go first. Okay. All right. Um, I take my bow out just in case. Um, mm-hmm. Not the, not the new bow, my old bow. Okay. You, you step. You open the door, and you can see inside. This seems to be a study of sorts. Um, you see a, a simple bed, almost like a cot, over to the side. You actually see pieces of paper that are kind of strewn about, uh, strewn about throughout this area. Um, you see a table with a chair Alpha and not much three. else. Are you a kitty cat? I heard that too. <laughs> My camera's all of a sudden off. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I thought you just yeah. left. But um, as you take one step in, nothing happens. You also see a, a door uh, across from you that seems to go deeper into the, into the complex. Okay. I hey, Tommy. Guys can come in. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Tommy. I love um, guys, I don't think, I don't think Angela would really approve the cleanliness in here. <laughs> Uh oh, that's no, a German accent. <laughs> Maybe we don't tell him about this. Tom Tom. Hey, Tom. Tom Tom. Hello, Tom Tom. Tom. This is my that's friend Tom funny. Tom here. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look, we're twins. Oh, <laughs> I can see the resemblance. I love you. Here's my butt. Um, so, yes, yes. Uh, anyway, I, I think. Um, I'm not concerned about Angelo and cleanliness here. Yes, quiet, Tom. Tom. Um, <laughs> okay. I think I think we should just slowly and cautiously press ahead. And if okay. we run into battle, well, no I will be ready with my axe. Oh, there, th- does this look familiar to you? My memory is a little hazy. I don't think I was in here much. Right. I this this doesn't seem too familiar to me. Okay. Maybe I saw it oh. once. Uh, roll a roll an intelligence check as Fig. See how much you can really remember. In terms of obscurities. Uh, so that everybody else eight. can see it. An eight. Wee um, wee accent. <laughs> what is a what? I have to sound like a cat? Wee wee accent. <laughs> um. Meow meow. Tom Tom had to leave. Meow meow meow. 
I guess I guess I don't remember much is basically what that means. Meow. I I guess I'll have to do I have to use my I guess I already did cast speak to animals, so translation. <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> you hear the DM say, um, yeah, you, you don't really remember this room, to be honest. Uh, you do remember enough to know that you personally only saw pretty much one room your entire time. Right. You do see a door across the way from you are leading to another room that is uh, a little bit open, but not enough to see what's in there. Okay, I, I, I'm um... just going to walk towards it and enter the door. All walk right. Cautiously, clumsily, like a. Hey, hide. La, la, clumsily, like um. Headlong, headlong in danger. In good danger! <laughs> I, I yell oh, they want you to do it in German now, mind. since it was had German going. Yeah. Um. Anfang just... in zum. I don't know how to say danger. In zum gefährlich macht. I That's think awesome. you just had to do it as a German accent. <laughs> I'm not into danger, yeah, please. Why, why, uh... Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, you, you kind of crack open, the, you, you just go and open the door immediately. And Fig, the moment that happens, you can see into the other room. You see uh, uh, the only light, by the way, that's coming in right now is from the front door you opened. This place doesn't seem to have windows, and it tends to keep smells in the area. And you start to smell kind of like a Greyhide smells at first. Something a little strange. Greyhide can roll a perception with advantage because of reasons, because it has to do with smell, if you want. But, um... I, the, I will do that. Yeah. Sorry. No reason you get advantage. A, I'm going to light a torch as well. So okay, you light a torch. Uh, perception? perception with advantage, because okay. you get advantage on any smell-based perception. I have rat check. smell, so I got a <laughs> 17 for the first one, and nine, 10 for the second, so 17. Uh, 17? It smells a bit like decay. Um, yeah, like built-up decay. I smell something deathly decaying up ahead. Uh, uh, yeah. A fetid, okay. pungent aroma. Unfitting of a paladin. <laughs> but, Fig, as you look past into the next room, you see this stone table. No legs, just a solid stone slab, but you know it's used as a table. You have a, a memory as you see the leather straps that are attached to a hook, a metal hook that's embedded in the table, of you being there. Strapped down onto this table. The, the red wizard looking over you with a, with a scalpel, peeling off pieces of skin, ripping it off. And as you, you scream out, he would, he would take it and put it aside and then use a wand to, to cure it. And then he would, you remember him getting angry and, being, and, and looking at the, uh, when he was looking at the strip, he says, I can't replicate it. And he would do it again. And then you would cast the wand on you again afterward, and one time it didn't work, and you just threw the wand because he was frustrated. Damn wand! And it I hit up against the, the side of the tit room. And see if I notice anything. Is that wand still lying around, or? You look in the corner where he, you remember him throwing the wand. You do see a small stick-like thing there <gasps> in the corner. You, you look over to your left, and you see a shelf with uh, mainly empty. There's only one uh, vial of something on there anymore. You see another table with a chair here. You see papers, again, in this room, kind of strewn about everywhere. Different papers. Almost like someone took a, a loose leaf notebook and just kind of shook it, and they all went everywhere. Um... You see a, a cage, and you have flashbacks again, being in that cage. This is where you were, in this cage. He kept you in here like an animal. You couldn't even stand where he would prod you. 
Uh, you, you look around and you see uh, clamps, tongs, pliers, knives, just on the ground. What a place of such, what a place of cruelty. This is, this is a horrible place. I can't believe you were ever here. Father, this is it. This is the room. You also Where see kept me. in another corner, a bird cage. And you remember seeing the raven kept in that cage. And you see, uh, again, opposite of the door you came in, a uh, another door that's closed, leading to some other part of the camp compound. You imagine it'd probably be the last room, given the size of the place. Uh, your father says, "Through that door is where I was kept. I was, I, I think there's like cells, jail cells type thing over on through that door. Maybe. This is uh." This is where he did the ritual, on this stone pedestal, I remember. This is where I got turned into a raven, and I don't remember much after that. I think he kept you in that cage. Because I remember a raven being there. I don't know if it was you, but... We should, uh... I don't like being here, but we should gather everything we see. I grab agree. The, grab the jar. I grabbed the, I grabbed the wand. Okay. The you you grab it. And it is a nicely shaped wand. It looks like basic wood, but slightly gnarled in a nice spinning shape, coming to a cutoff point. I put it. I put everything in the bag of holding, so okay. I wouldn't know what to do with this. You go over to but. the jar, and. You you kind of uh, grab uh, you don't kind of you you grab it off the shelf and you look at it. It's blood red, the contents of it, with some type of uh, stopper in the top. You have a flashback again, of him cutting you, on the while you're strapped down, cutting your wrist, and letting blood flow into this jar. You're pretty sure this is your blood in this jar. What a dreadful place. Because I think this is me. What, what, what did they do to you here? You don't have to tell me, but... He did was they... experimenting. He wanted... He was frustrated. He, he wanted us to... I don't... Let's just get everything and get out of here. He wanted to make us into animals. This is... This is absolutely. I couldn't even. That this wizard is must pay for what he's done. Justice must be served. Let's gather everything we can. It could be useful against him. He's left all this stuff around. Okay, but you... isn't there more places we need to look for your mother? For Father clues said, about your mother. Well, you still yeah, have I... uh, all the implements, a scalpel, tongs. Yeah. Now that you're seeing, they're, they're actually surgery. You can almost say torture implements kind of on the ground you can also gather. And then everywhere you have pieces of paper. Whoever's going to try to make sense of all these pieces of paper, roll an investigation. Um, I'll read and try if I can. I don't have a lot of knowledge, but... 13. This is just your ability. Uh, okay. 13. A 20 from Enigma. Yeah. Um, so Alpha and uh, Enigma start gathering these papers together and you realize they're actually journal entries this uh, red wizard he seems to make quick just quick notes uh, about what he's thinking he doesn't say much he doesn't even put a date on it he just makes a quick note and threw it probably in a notebook that got strown about this investigation like is torture. yeah this investigation is to see how well you can kind of put the timeline of the notes together and uh fig or alpha starts to put it together and enigma looks at it and says no 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 i think that and she's able to kind of get them in chronological order the first entry should i should i say these in his voice yes <laughs> <laughs> 
I found a family of changelings in the wood, perhaps married in useless bonds. It'll be their undoing. And then that was all he wrote. The next note. I must find a way to raise an army with these changelings. These abilities are amazing. Perhaps they could allow me to finally kill that bastard Zass and his undead army. <laughs> Next anyone, entry. Do we know Zass? Roll history. This one's a hard one, but anyone who wants to see if they know that name. Mm. I'll go ahead and do the next one while you're doing that. I'll do a history. Got a 20? I got a 20 also. I got wow. a, sorry, I got a 22. Both of you I, have heard it before. Uh, when reading about um, geography or, or some sort, um, Zass is the main ruler of Thay. He is an undead lich that controls the city with an undead army. Oh, shit. Okay, we don't... Okay. Um, We're not ready to fight this guy, I'm guessing. <laughs> the next one says... Hmm. Many are. He didn't put hmm. <laughs> this voice is so creepy. Many of the higher demons can replace themselves and duplicate themselves, use themselves as raw material for another one of themselves. Yes, a demon may work. Next entry. Demons are unpredictable, hard to control. Hmm. Maybe. Animals would be safer to dominate and control. The next one. A yucklo is created from a succubus. How interesting. Yes, yes. These changelings and succubi have many things in common. <laughs> that first word, uh, anyone can roll a knowledge religion if they want to see if they know a what succubus? a yucklo No, a yucklo. Everybody knows what a succubus is, at least in yeah. stories. You can roll um, a knowledge nature if what? you want to know more about what a succubus is. But for yachlo. So what am I rolling for this yachlo? History religion. Or religion. Religion or history. Either one. They I'll kind of both religion. apply. Wee wee you accent. <laughs> I am doing a Frangry accent. <laughs> Frangry accent. Uh... Greyhide, <laughs> you notice that there's profit in this. No, I can't do it for it. It is Gold pressed excellent. latinum. Yes, gold yeah. pressed latinum. Uh, you actually do know, you've heard of Yoklo. Uh, it's specifically because you went through a paladin school. This is a, this is a, uh, a pretty, um, it's not the most toughest, but it's, it's a pretty tough demon. It has, um, it looks almost like a yellow tree with a big eye, and it looks like it's always kind of melting like wax. Ah, I think I've seen pictures of these in the old, uh, you know, dungeon master compendiums. Did he, there. did he try and mix us with the tree? I'm like, <laughs> don't know. And then. Yeah. The next entry. Bah! It's useless. Failed! Well, I still have the main changeling, the man changeling left. Perhaps I should try with animals after all. Hmm. The next entry. They had a daughter! How did they keep this from me for so long? No matter. More test subjects. The next one. He had Something a daughter. Easy. Wow. You imagine that as Fig. Something easy, like a raven, is the next entry. It's all it says. And then next entry. Stupid raven, it can't shift anymore. Next one. That's when my father got stuck, I guess. Maybe I can extract it from the daughter. She could be difficult to capture. Seems to have good survival instincts. Next entry. I can't seem to extract it. I want it for myself and I can't get it. Oh, I'll make her suffer for this. And then uh, last entry. Or second to last entry. Never embers gold. This could be what I need. I think I have an idea. 
And then the very last one, the last paper you pick up. Stupid raven! Wasn't supposed to escape! Ugh, useless anyways. Will you, will you act, Sam? So that's all you pick up? I am sorry, I am very sorry, but... That's all you see from the papers around you? I guess. even got the head bobble be, going, nice. That must be my father's escape when the raven left, and these entries look maybe pre-cap- before he captured me. I'm gonna go ahead and put all these entries in our Facebook chat, so you can yeah. look at them at your leisure. Hmm. Um, okay. So, what was this? Manshoon is saying that Fig is his daughter? Did I no, catch no. that? He he realized that the, the changelings he had captured had a daughter, and that daughter was me. That daughter. Oh, okay, had, so because he had captured my parents way Your before. Your parents, he but captured hadn't me. captured you yet. Okay, this was okay. This is no. Prior my, to as you. far as I knew, my parents had just disappeared, mm. and I assumed they left me. So I was alone for years, and then. Just in case you didn't think of it, can you all please roll an intelligence 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 check? Please kindly do it, and thank you for the need for intelligence. There we go. Six. I rolled a four. <laughs> That's not very high intelligence. Can Enigma please roll an intelligence check? Sure. <laughs> okay, Romeo. Where is it? Uh, uh, it's up, up and left sort of thing. There's those six... Fuckers. Okay. What kind of name is? Oh yes! Oh yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Enigma! You're, you're the your only one to. Your dad gave me that name a long time ago. Oh! <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know how I can put fit that into the story. Uh, you guys uh, still aren't an item. You and uh, you and, his, <laughs> you and Red Velvet's dad. Are you still Enigma? No, I get babe, jealous you only. Okay, good, good. I can uh, bring the bedroom if you want. Enigma, you were the only one who thought of it, but you remember the paladins of Bahamut were actually going to seek out a demon in this forest. Guys, I just remembered something. Um, what? What? What, Mark? What? What? The paladins of Bahamut were about to go into the forest to capture a demon and kill it. Do you think um, it's the same demon as this tree demon? See, I knew they were related. Maybe we can catch up to these guys. I mean, I could send my eagle in the meantime. He could scout. He could scout them for me. And then maybe talk to them and tell them to wait. But, uh, well, maybe we should well, just double just... back now. Like, we've got, we've got all the evidence and... You know, everything he'll that just, we've seen here. He'll give us the location, but uh, the, we have to go through this door, though, I think. Uh, my dad was saying, I think he thinks that's where he was kept. There might be some more clues about my mom. But let me send the eagle. Um, nice? So I send my bird to track down the, uh, the, the group. Okay. Um... Okay, roll a. Uh, let me roll it for your eagle, actually, so you don't know what it was rolled. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your What's your eagle? Sur uh, either wisdom or survival skill bonus. Is... Mm, it's probably going to actually be yours, basically. So just tell me your survival. Mm, my survival bonus is plus six. Okay, good to know. Your eagle goes off. But I do, I do have a. Because we're in the woods, though, I do have extra proficiency for wisdom. I would say that applies. I'll roll again. Okay, good to know. Um, you. So the last door is closed. Greyhide, your Greyhide's going to go open it. I assume. Yes, you will. Uh, you're going to go open that last door to the last room that's back there? Yes, let's do it. Headlong this room, into the final door. 
<laughs> this room is dark. Um, you don't, you can't see much in here unless the torch, uh, yeah, the torch that Fig is bringing. You see in here is four cells, it looks like. You see four doors uh, that were obviously cells at some point. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for my notes. There it is. Sorry. Um, one of the cells seems to have its bars almost like pulled open, like someone just grabbed him and pulled them open. Another... Uh, another cell of doors in the back. Its door is off its hinge, just kind of laying on the ground. The floor is... Uh, everything you find here, the floor is stone. Um, you imagine you may have created this whole place through magic somehow. Uh, the front two cells that you're close to, you kind of take a look in. You can't... Uh, you don't see anything in those cells. The torch doesn't go far enough to see the ones in the back. You want to head forward? Headlong? Uh, yes. Trepidatiously. Okay. I don't think uh, I've been here. Yes, Rin says, uh, yes, this is where, where I was captured. I do remember this place. Right here, and he points to the cell to his right. And he says, your mother was in that cell there, and he points... And it's, uh, he says, that's where, that's where I saw her melting, was the last I saw her. She's melting. Okay. Um, also, Fig's gonna get an inspiration. I go from... forward to that cell, and I, do I see anything extra? Maybe something is of hers left behind, or anything besides the ground? As you get close to that cell... I mean, not as you get close to the cell. <laughs> you start moving up towards that cell with the light. And you see simultaneously on your right side, you see what on the ground, someone, something that was curled up, large muscular arms with fur, what seems to be a bare head but with a furry, almost humanoid body laying on the ground, kind of looks, is awakened by the light and shakes its head and huh. looks at you. And you see its, its um, jowls go back as it starts to let out a <sighs> seeing you. Uh, does it you look, look to your left good? and you see, you don't see anything until you look up a bit and you see on the ceiling this large spider, probably about five feet wide. Oh, crap. Black furry legs, a big yes. thorax on the back. And you see what seems to be a corpse sewn to that spider, almost like it became a part of the spider. Yeah. It's back. The spider has no head. Instead, it's replaced with this body. You think it's a, a, a bugbear because you've seen him before that attack troll skull, except this one looks lifeless and just dangling upside down from the spider hanging on the ceiling. Um, and I speak to it? And the, the spider actually t -t 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 turns towards oh, you crap. on the ceiling. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, hey, hi. That's um, initiative. Yeah. I was just about to call the spider crap. a disgusting, revolting <laughs> bug. I do not reason. I do not try to talk to spiders. This is, uh... You just roll up the newspaper. <laughs> Any of wow. these could be a human that was changed into an animal. Roll a roll um, initiative. But first, before you do that, roll a knowledge nature, everybody. Okay. Knowledge okay. nature. Oh. This will be how much you know about what these things are. And we might have to do this battle next time, I rolled unfortunately. A two. I can't 20. find the knowledge. Where's where's where where's uh, nature twenty one? I think it's just under N nature. Oh okay. Yeah, I rolled sorry. The first. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. I, I actually I'm used to like um a previous version where they put the word knowledge in front of them. So I keep saying knowledge nature, but it's just called nature. Um 
yeah, so everybody's kind of clueless about these are, except Fig, who you you look at the the bear like thing on the ground. That is a wear bear. Um, that's the first thing that occurs to you. Oh, that's a wear bear. That's a lanthrocopy. Okay. So it's on a the left bear, side, not a person as a wear bear. Don't know. Okay. Um, the on the left side, you see. Um, I'll say with that good of a roll, roll an insight for the werebear. Based on its movements, how it turns its head and looks around. But on the left side, you see the spider type creature. And with a 21, that's pretty good. You can actually recognize, that looks like a drider from the Underdark. But instead of having a drow body, it has like dead bugbear body, which is strange. Uh, yuck. Uh... Based on that insight of 14, uh, you can see it. The way it gets up does seem a little human. Um, just that you see a glint of kind of humanity possibly in it, but it's hard to see it past the feral rage that it seems to be having at your at CNU. Okay, guys. I think this thing was once human. Still might be. Oh, does that mean I'm not allowed to kill it? Because I really want to kill it. <laughs> I, it might know something about my mom if we can help it. Oh. But I don't okay. know how much we can. We also don't want to die, so. Well, it's acting quite aggressive and it's being kind of a jerk. So yeah. If it not... comes down to it, if we can spare its life, uh, I'll do my best, but. We need yeah, to get... I know. Let's try to neutralize it. Oh, um, I would say Enigma oh, roll. Or go ahead. Uh, sorry, uh, Enigma roll one? a um a stealth real quick. See how well you can kind of stealth while this all kind of breaks out to see okay. if you can start stealth. Twenty three. Oh yeah! Wow. Okay. So you're uh, as this all kind of happens, you're able to kind of shift right into the shadow against the wall of this room, so that you'll start stealth next time. Um, Ooh, you, you accent. Why? <laughs> what the hell? Glass? Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow. Scottish, this specific and he gave a link? <laughs> you gave me a Zoom link. Did you mean to give me a Zoom link? That's so specific. I'm down to join a Zoom call right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. You know, I was probably on that same Zoom meeting. <laughs> Oh man, what the hell? Link. Greg's just like, okay, well, a moment, I gotta need to take a class. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. we'll what do you expect? I guess that's for next time. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on Glasgow. You've all requested. Yeah. Let me just that's fast right. forward here. We're going. Oh, oh, careful, oh, careful, careful. Oh, oh. Can I just ask before you do that? Are you a true Scotsman? The first sound is the short vowel I. I would say. What is happening? Is, is this say, the spider it. entity we're going it. to fight? <laughs> Another day. I want to you know. kill it. Because my hate but would be your play. Right? Oh. I don't know. No, it's the guy, I think. Paused right on the soy face. Nice. So. <laughs> oh, is, that, is this Red Velvet himself? What? This isn't Red Velvet. No. Okay, the... I don't know who's. If that's, I don't want to offend anyone. He's maybe he's making a soy face right now. What did Red Velvet put in the chat? Another YouTube link. Another YouTube My link. My soy face. Uh, Eurovision. Blah blah blah. Something. Oh, I think it's a song where someone has that accent. I don't know. I'll I'll research this, Tyler. Also, I hate you. And um. And we'll start next. The intro of next episode. We'll use this accent, I guess. If, if Greg can master it, which is a big if. Yes, he'll practice, he'll practice all week just for you. I will practice all week just for him. And I will so call him the, names at work for it. The very first we'll thing we're doing next week on Art of the Roll is rolling for initiative, which is a good thing. There's going to be some There's going to be some fighting. There's going to be yeah. some fighting. There's some monsters right? that did some fighting words. Wait, so just to, to clarify, that werebear is still behind bars, right? He's behind the bars that have been pulled open. 
Right, so he's not really behind bars. Gotcha. And gotcha. the spider's behind the the bars where the the door has been taken off its hinges. The right. bear's so, where? Where's the bear? The were bear. The bear where? The were bear. The bear where? A bear where? 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 <laughs> where is the bear? Where? So, Where's the were bear? Um, as you walked into bear? this place, you walked into a place that basically had a hallway going forward. On each on each side of the hallway is four cells total. The first two cells were empty and closed. The second two cells were had bars pulled open, and on the left side the door was off the hinges. And also on the the far right cell is the were bear, and the far left cell is the spider. We'll need a little drawing next to. Uh, you'll have actually miniatures and stuff, so hope it'll be a really nice time for like a... Fitz to just uh, make his own little dealings. <laughs> yeah. Uh, friend. What is? What? Oh, I guess in the the video. I guess we'll find out. It must have been before. Uh, never mind. Boy. Uh, I get the name an unnamed NPC. Is Red Velvet the one who did the oh yes, oh yes? Yes, oh yes. So one <laughs> of these creatures are called oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, Enigma had something at the very end there. Give someone the finger. Red Velvet, we're only saying it with this intonation. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, yeah, Enigma, yeah. send us off with uh, with your channel point giving someone the finger. Okay. Greyhide, I don't appreciate your flirtatious ways. And you know what? You're. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>